Well, YouTube family and friends, rev, rev it up, sprucing up the home edition. I have the deck almost completed, but I am, my math was off. I am two one by six twelve treated off on the decking board. And I hope I have enough. Uh, I think I got enough decking screws to, to fill the rest up, but this is what it's looking like so far. I already put some patio furniture up on top and that's where I take my rest and you can see my awning right up over there so let's take you in the middle so you can see that is the boards the 2x12 is evenly spaced between each one of the beams there and there on my uh, retractable awning and the retractable awning is going to come out just about to where that board is open up where the last two boards will be going so it'll be plenty of cover and um, if I'm achieving my goal now um, I'll count out some mistakes that I may have made but all lumber is not 12 feet long or 10 feet long some aren't as straight as others but you can see over here Everything is straight and down in the line. And it started out straight for the first eight boards. And then I started getting little spaces right there. See the big spaces that's in it? So what I had to do was take and put the nail in in the angle to get it go off that way. They're all 12 foot, but see how much room I have left on it, on the end. But when you get up here, it's all evened out right there. Now, one of the faults might be um, one of these joists that I put in. I might have cut them too long and it may have bowled the wood out some. I think that may have been it. I mean, I should have, if it said 14 and a quarter, um, you know, I went a little bit, a, a little bit longer so I can get the board wedged in there, but I should have did 14 and a quarter or if it was 14 and a half or if it was 14 and seven eighths or five eighths or seven sixteenths, whatever. I should have just did it that way. That way the boards wouldn't have bowed out, but I got it on the end that's facing away from the street so uh, they'll never see that and it's not going to be a problem it's not going to be a problem at all and um, I can probably start to measure that and cut out some um, a 1 by 6 board and um, just get the measurements and go cut it and just put one nail in it and hope it doesn't split when I do it but we'll see I got this board to finish nailing and then this board and then um, we gotta uh, go get two more boards and uh, we'll have this thing complete okay YouTube family and friends rev sprucing it up home edition this is the hallelujah board right here that one laying in my crutch that's the last one to go down and we are going to be done with this deck and I had to take a good break I had to take some medicine my hip is tearing me up I can't hardly walk I'm gonna be down for a few days I'm gonna take a nice shower and that's gonna be it for the day I won't be out for two three days uh, it took about a month to build this because of my disability but we finally got her to the finishing point and it's very sturdy I like it it does what I built it to do and it looks darn good if I can build one you could build one God bless yes sir YouTube family and friends that was the hallelujah board the deck is completely finished we are out of the dirt off the ground I got some chairs up. Uh, we're gonna put a grill on the end over here. 
we're gonna get that bolted down to the wood so they have a hard time stealing it but it's nice and sturdy even all the way around and tonight around five we're supposed to get a severe thunderstorm with gusty winds and small hail and we'll see how this thing stands up to uh mother nature we'll see if the water beads up on it or puddles up on it or if it goes through and we'll see how well of a job we did all right god bless we'll keep you posted Rev it up, Mustang Home Fanatic Edition. Was it all worth it? Yes, it was. Here's my 12 by 10 deck, all finished. There's a retractable awning, retracted out to about pretty close to nine feet. Gives you good comfortable shade underneath there. I think it turned out pretty good. So we have a screened in porch where you can sit. We have an extra 10 by 10, I believe this is uh, concrete fenced in, or you can have the 12 by 10 deck with the awning protecting you from the sun and the elements. Wonderful job, but another medical sad note, just got out the hospital chronic hip and back pain so um, I have been posting many videos since my best friend Walter DeWolf died April 26 I've been having a lot of complications so I'm going to post the videos that I had made and some of them are shorties and then I don't know what's going to happen with the channel I'm not going to be uh, working on cars anymore or, or doing anything like that. I just got to stick to doing real light stuff because of the hip and the back. And uh, we'll find some content for uh, my page. I don't know what, but um, I'll be efforting that as we speak. But anyway, that is the look. Comment, like, and subscribe. Rev it up spruce it up home edition I will be adding a GFCI circuit so we can have power out here I already measured it on the inside I have a outlet about 17 inches and uh, 3 8 or 3 16 it comes out to about here so I can take that wall socket out and uh, punch through the box drill a hole through here and hope it's somewhere in the center and maybe get the GFI box this way so the screws will go in flat right here and use my Romex and um, get the connectors on and then the be GFI protected with the box that you can plug and close in for outdoors so we can have music or fans blowing or whatever we're going to do out here we can have that and then i intend to put up a light fixture so we can turn on a light at night um i don't think it should be motion censored it might be um with the retractable awning uh it'll be hard to pick up uh, unless somebody's walking up on the deck so it might just be off the switch on the inside that I can tie into and uh, turn the light on and off from the inside up there or perhaps just do one of them ring camera floodlights where it records and the floodlights come on but, but we'll see. Okay, YouTube family, Rev. Rev it up, sprucing up the home. As you notice, I have my deck finished. And we put patio furniture out. There's an umbrella. There's our grill. We got more chairs, more lounge chair. Lounge chair right there. 
Now, that gate right there. I'm gonna open this up. Well, I can't zoom out. Let's go in. That's about the only room we got to get out of that gate. And then it's about the same on that side. So I'm putting the hinges on this gate. And I'm gonna cut it about right here. And um, put the lock on this side. It's an automatic lock so the gate can swing out that way. And then once I get this gate swinging out that way, I, my next project is um, I'm going to measure from here to here, from here to here. What I did when I cut this out, I put a block of wood in there. I cut a wood out the same size to, to go in there so the screws can fit inside. I can show you the bottom so you can see the wood right there inside so the screws will go into that wood because this post has a 4x4 four four inside of it. And so I got to put the other hinge on that. Then once I cut through here and cut through there, um, I got to put my my automatic locking gate thing on the inside here and the gate will swing open. And then, um, like I said, when I measure the distance from the gate from here to there, what I'm gonna do dig up this grass, pull up those rocks, come up to here, and I'm gonna extend the deck from here to there. So, uh, it's probably gonna be about, I'm gonna use two by eights, probably gonna be about five foot long. So I'm gonna need uh, two by 10, eight, two by eight tens for a head of deer. And the header over here and then in the middle I got to measure the distance it's going to be going over here and I'm going to use probably three joists and then do how I did my board over there and then get some decking board and put on there so we can just open the gate and walk straight over to the deck so that's my goal when you're good you're good I put those hinges on in the right spot I cut here and uh, she opens up, doesn't hit the deck. So that's beautiful. I like that. I love that. And then when she swings back, we get to the part where it locks itself. Click. You're going to lock itself right in there. So now all I got to do is plug that, plug that in. Plug this and plug that and we'll be all right. Okay, YouTube family, fans, rev, rev it up. Home edition, sprucing up the home. Um, we're adding a, a walk board to get to our deck and I made a gate for our fence to open up to get to it. So here it is. And it's almost the size of the uh, open of the fence so we can walk straight from here to the deck and I already got it all fitted out, fixed in there. It's attached to the deck. And I got a lot of um, fill gravel underneath there. And then I got the landscape net over the top of it. There was landscape down there, landscape net down there already. But anyway, um, the idea is to be able to come from off this slab here and the gate locks open the gate and walk across onto the deck board over there so um, I had to raise the gate for the two by eights but I didn't give an account for the one by six that I'm gonna be laying down here. So I got to raise the gate up another one inch in order for it to clear the one bys. And that's gonna be pretty easy to do. Uh, no, no hard fence there to do. So I'm gonna start to cut my decking board and lay my decking board. I got these uh, 10 inches on center. 
since it's so small and uh, we're going to lay the decking boards down the same way that those decking boards are facing once we do that then we're going to raise this fence up and we'll be done with this and all this is going to be covered with white uh, river rock okay youtube family friends rev here sweating it out but it's nice and breezy uh, this afternoon it's probably about almost six o'clock i finished my little um decking walkway to come from the concrete slab right over to the walkway so you don't have to step down in the mud or in the dirt and uh dig the grass out i put landscape netting down there and uh once again i put my uh, joist tape in on it and this one is 12 inch on center since it's so small and uh it's nice and level nice and sturdy the only thing i have to do what i didn't account for was the decking board um i accounted for the two by eights but the decking board i didn't account for so i gotta raise this fence up at least another half inch to an inch and this fence will will clear it so we're going to raise that up and then i got about six one by six eights to take back and three two by six eight treated lumber to take back so we'll get some money back on this